Band to confirm information, Quebec, time 19 Zulu. Wind 360 at 8, visibility 10, two clouds at 4,400. Temperature 28, 2.21, altimeter 3007. Visual approach and use, landing and departing runway 6. Yeah. Bad advisors, contact information, Quebec. Nantucket Ground, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie. Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, Nantucket Ground, runway 6, taxi via Bravo Echo. Runway 6, via Bravo Echo, uh, November 1, Bravo Charlie, we do have Quebec, or via part to the north. Roger. Alrighty. Man, Nantucket was a good time. So in one day, we hit Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, and now we're on our way to Cape Cod. The little right. beach day here in Nantucket. Yeah. I just went, I just went to the bathroom. I like dropped my shorts and all this sand came out. Huh. I was like, I don't even know, I want to know where that came from. <laughs> There's, we're gonna have to clean some sand out of uh, oh, one Bravo Charlie over here, I think. We just, just got off the beach. Please test the one Bravo Charlie. Will you be ready upon reaching? Oh, one Bravo Charlie. We'll have to do a quick run up. Roger, when you get down to the end, just pop the right in the run up area. Advise tower frequency 118.3 when you're ready for departure. One Bravo Charlie, copy all. And this airport is absolutely hopping. It is jumping. The whole island is jumping. Like, planes, it is crazy. Planes, we thought we planes. thought it was, like, busy when we got to Martha's Vineyard, like, running around there. And no. Dude, Nantucket is where it's at. There's so yeah. many people here. I don't know what they're all doing, but there's a lot of people here. Yeah. Cool island. But the locals were like, yeah. Martha's Vineyard is for millionaires, and Tucket is for billionaires. And judging by everything we've seen so far, that sounds like super accurate. Yeah. Holy crap. There's just mega yachts. We saw the biggest yacht we ever saw before in our life in Martha's Vineyard yesterday. Until today. All those yachts are like, made that other yacht look like, whatever. Yeah. It's like all these golf streams. Uh, pretty much everything flying around here takes jet fuel. Yeah. The amount of platuses and TBMs and King Airs, all the corporate jets. I mean, there's a citation right there on a two-mile final. This guy's rolling in front of them. People don't mess around. 668, I'm going to get good day. Alrighty, going to do a quick run-up. We'll be back. Tucker Tower, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is ready to go, runway 6. Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, you know, take Tower, runway 6, clear for takeoff. Runway 6, clear for takeoff, 1, Bravo Charlie. You got that door pumped up? Yeah. Sweet. Chancellor 8, Delta Golf, runway 6, oh. clear to land. Alright, runway's clear. I heard somebody clear to land, but they look clear. Runway 6 will left turn out to the north. Alrighty, we're lined up. Barrel's coming up 1700. Oh, make sure it's going full ridge. Now ah, release the brakes. Gauges are on the green. Fuel flows look good. Airspeed's alive. 70, 80, 90. Rotate. Tap the brakes. Gear coming up. Stand to Guitar, runway 6, clear for takeoff traffic, use chain flare on a 3 and a half mile final. Chain 3, Delta Golf, 1 to departure prior to arrival, twin sus now. Go on a squeeze play. Delta Golf. Yeah. Stand to Guitar, runway 6, clear for takeoff traffic, say chain flare on a 2 and a half mile final. There's the beach we were just at. Yeah. That was it. 
We drove across that whole Kip entire island. It's kind of close because we got to see like the down, like, the, the town, the town, and drive all evening, through there. there. Boston approach, twin Cessna 771, Bravo, Charlie's VFR off of Nantucket inbound for uh, Providence Town. 771, Bravo Hotel, Boston approach, Squawk 5132. Uh, 771, Bravo, Charlie's Squawk and 5132, just requesting VFR flight following. We're uh, 11 off Altitude, here at 3000. to go. Dot com 2131, center maintain 7000. Channel 7000, 2131. So that's it. That's, that's Cape Cod? Yep. No, it's actually, it's actually, if you come in with a shirt, we're not going to get any service. Oh. Our um, Lyft driver, he's like, he said so he's been flying for like eight years, he flies to Skyhawk or whatever. We're like, oh, it's like Boston friendly, we want to get a flyby of the city or whatever. And he was like, no. <laughs> like, yeah. He's pretty much not. So we'll see. Yeah. He said... <laughs> The controllers there don't really let you in the Bravo. Like they're rough, they're rough. Oh yeah, look, it's nice and clear on the other side. Boston approach 321 on Kilo 16 6, we're descending for 11,000, five miles this side of depot. We yeah, have uh, Quebec. 21 Alpha Kilo, Boston approach, thank you, expect the visual code, the normal six, and like after depot, so we don't really have to worry about any Ubers. Hey, depot, direct Nantucket, we'll just expect bikes visual to six, or scooters. Y'all want to see Kevin on a scooter? 419, turn right, 815. Nobody wants to see me on a scooter. Yeah. Just skirting the rain, you guys, if the camera turns out that I've got off the left wing there. That's this red and yellow that we see up below. Might not be fun if you were up in it, but down here. Not too shabby. Nice little short flight. I get kind of quiet when the departure and arrival phase for a pilot is very... There's just a lot going on, especially in a plane that's as complex as this and as fast as this. Delta 771, Bravo Charlie, traffic 1 o'clock, uh, 2 miles south now, 1,200. 1 Bravo Charlie searching, thank you. 2,000 feet beneath us. Speed 111, under the wing. Approach, tower, now, one, two, Going one, along four. the beach. The beach, buddy. Oh, here's the rain. Getting a little bit of plane wash. Yeah, it's starting to come down harder now. Yeah, that does look nice. Speed 590, contact Nantucket Tower. I wouldn't want to be in that. No. Not really. It's right there on the tip, babe. We made it. Okay, so, just hit, uh, 319, looking for a runway, that's like... Yeah. What'd you say it was? Uh, we're going to land 7. 7. The winds are 030, I think it's 7. 419, do you have a high enough support? Right down. Thanks, man, we are taking off. Yes, anyway, ship 419. Approach 1, Bravo Charlie has the airport in sight. We'll go ahead and cancel flight following, thanks. Number 1, Bravo Charlie, ready to terminate. Bring straight to approve, no other traffic approved. See ya. Province Town traffic, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo, Charlie, 15 miles to the south, inbound for landing, Province Town. Oh, I thought there was a tower. I was going to check in. <laughs> no, it's on control. I was going to be like, hello. <laughs> can I, can a B get a landing clearance? Look at all these boats here, too. This is a really nice. Altitude, 1,000 to go. Sorry, baby. It was such a short flight. I know you typically like the really long ones. Yeah, that's rough. It was double the length of the last flight. We're just almost 
is eight minutes from. Pairing it up around here. I just stayed here to Nantucket. And I had to go on this like. 20 minute flight. So rough to see some of the most beautiful spots in the country. Look at all those boats in that little harbor. That's a big beach. That's a huge beach. The beach boy. On the Cape. Way to the Cape, babe. Oh, that water does look nice, actually. Provincetown traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is eight miles to the southeast. Be over flying midfield, entering left downwind runway seven, Provincetown. You're in Cape Cod now. There's the Cape or the Cod or whatever you want to call it. We are surrounded. Made it past some yucky weather yet again. Weather's trying hard to Altitude, catch us, to but go. it just ain't catching us. Coming at us. Why are you coming at there's me, bro? a ton of boats. Look at this place. Oh, yeah. look at that lighthouse. Yeah. The really pretty uh, one is Race Point. It's over, there's Race Point Beach on the other side. Of Altitude. Altitude. You, you're to burn on the Where pavement. Uh, do you want us to land with this old sort of uh, the runway? Sailboat. Yeah, that's our last one anyway. Wow, that's a lighthouse? What? I mean, it's underneath us now. That's what I was talking about is a long gone. That's a monument. That's the Pilgrim Monument. We're staying right next to that. Are you... What? Are you going to overfly the field and then... Yeah. That's the Pilgrim's Monument? The Pilgrim Monument. The... Yeah. Oh. That brown skinny thing. Wow, look at this place. Those are, look at all this, just sand dunes over there. Yeah. Provincetown traffic, twin to 771, Bravo Charlie's overhead, cross midfield, be entering left downwind runway 7, Provincetown. Alright, autopilot's coming up. Okay, traffic, Skyhawk, one to your warm, uh, turn in left east for two point of grass down. I don't know where that plane went. What plane? The one that was in the pattern. Oh, he's holding short. He must be doing touch and goes or something. Why didn't you make a right down one? Because you, you can't. See that no, noise abatement. It's left traffic this way and right traffic oh. that way. They're pretty serious about that stuff. That is so sandy here. Look at all these sand dudes. <sighs> Provincetown traffic, twin Cessna 1 Bravo. Charlie is entering left downwind runway 7, Provincetown. So people at the beach. That's the lighthouse that we're gonna go to. Cool. Low 160, gear coming down. All right, fuel pumps are on low. Fuel's on the mains. Undercarriage, we got three in the green. Mixtures and props are all set. Provincetown traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is turning left base, runway 7, Provincetown. And this will be one turn to final. Provincetown traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is turning final, runway 7, Provincetown. Um, here, uh... All these people camping. You're down, three in the green. Two red, two white.
mean to land that hard. I got too slow that time, I think. I've been thinking, oh, slower, that was slower, yeah. slower. That's different for you. You don't need to smack it like that. Yeah. Sorry, guys. That's what you said. But don't. It wasn't a damaging hard landing, but it was a little harder than I would have wanted, that's for sure. Not nearly as hot here at the moment. Are those, what are, are those ginormous turkeys or vultures or what are those? Turkey like, vultures. Like turkeys to me. No, oh, they're some big old turkeys, babe. Oh. Province Sound traffic, twin Cessna 771. Bravo, Charlie is clear of the active province now. Delicious. This seems a lot less like um, a bitty, a bitty, super official. Like, this seems more like, like fishing village town. Like, yeah. All those people around. Oh, show. Sure. Well guys, welcome to Provincetown, Massachusetts. Alright guys, this is going to be funny, but I think we're going to try to push this plane back. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. And then hopefully oh, we'll have boy. some fun times in Provincetown. I may be cranking right back up to taxi down to the other end. See ya. There we go. Time to put one Bravo trolley to bed. The pushback was actually successful. She pushed a little, I pushed a lot. We got it right where it needed to be. So, and we actually somehow managed to get tier one parking. It was the number one spot that was open here at Provincetown. She said she pushed it by herself.